No music is playing. There's no music. There it is, okay. Hey guys and gals, I'm Paladin, and welcome back to more Skyward Sword. When we last le left off, uh, we had healed Leneru using the magical Fruit of Life, and also we got the last two parts of the Song of the Hero, getting all four parts and completing it completely. Now, there is a challenge now available to us, apparently in Skyloft. However, we are not doing that this episode. We are doing Leneru's Lightning Round. It is basically what we're going to be doing today. Uh, I'll let him explain, then I'll fill it, fill it in for you. Leneru, take it away. Finally, Link. You really did come back. Glad to see it. Well then, let's have some fun. Or maybe a hero such as yourself has no time for playing around. Well, what I offer is more than mere child's play. I would have you face challenges that draw upon the many hardships you've experienced thus far. Look to the past to understand the future. That's what I say, and I think you'll find that you have much to gain in revisiting your own past. So what do you say, Link? I'm game. You're a true hero. That's the spirit. Then if you would permit me, I'll take a look at your past experiences. Indeed, indeed. You have done some amazing things, like battling fierce foes and overcoming the daunting trials of the Silent Realm. Alright then, based on those experiences, you can choose one of two exciting challenges. Which one would you like to try? Uh, we're doing battle today, you can... Let me explain this right now. You can choose to revisit all boss battles you've faced before. So, Gurham, you can fight him again. Uh, the Imprisoned? That too. Um, and the Silent Realm is the same thing, except with the Silent Realm uh, ta trials. You get to revisit the Silent Realm, and all of these are timed, so you can basically do time trials to defeat bosses. It's actually really fun. I believe this was first introduced in Majora's Mask, I think? I think so. Yeah. So yeah, you can redo boss fights, which is really neat. Um, how it works is you get to pick the first the first battle of a boss, and he chooses any any battle consecutive to that. You your pouches do not carry over. You do have your items, however, you do not get to use potions within the the uh, lightning round. You, the shield you have equipped is the shield you're using. If it breaks too bad you're going to have to quit or just continue on without it and medals do not apply except one but I'll I will cover that in a second now this is why actually I'll cover it right now this is why I brought those potions and the reason being is those actually carry over into the lightning round um, I'm not sure if it's a glitch or if they meant for this to happen but the effects of potions, aka air potion, stamina potion, guardian potion, carry over into the lightning round. And the potion metal actually does too. So you can go into these with basically a head start. It's really nice, and that's what I'm going to be doing today. But first, let me go over the rewards. Um, the, first, the first one is a p piece of heart. That is gained after doing four consecutive battles and quitting after the fourth one. And that's what I'm going to be doing off-screen right now. The second one is what he will explain in a second, and that is done after battle 8. So 8 consecutive battles, you do not get a chance to heal in between, and hearts in the battles are few and far between. So, yeah, it's basically a stamina challenge. So let's let's have him say what the the good reward is for doing 8 battles. You want to do, You want to do battle? Fantastic! I like your moxie. Because you, choo you chose battle, I will select from only the toughest opponents you've ever faced, meaning bosses. And I will use my power to recreate the same battle, so you can face your greatest enemies once more. You're being a good sport, so I'll reward you. Do well enough, and I might give you something truly special. An absurdly sturdy shield. That is what we're after today. Really neat. We get a shield. But if you lose... Well, let's just say that this isn't just a game. If you lose, it's all over. You won't be going home in one piece. 
basically if you lose all your hearts that is a game over you don't get uh you don't get booted from the lightning round you're dead still interested you bet i am spoken like a little warrior i like it all right then which period of your journey would you like to face an enemy from um i'm this is where i'm going to do things off screen i'm going to be doing the easier enemies or i'm going to start with one of the easier enemies simply because I'm just doing four, so there's no need for me to exert myself. I will be right back. Oh, and when I initiate this, you guys will get to see the kill cams on all the bosses. So, let the kill cams commence. Gurhim it is. He's that creepy guy you fought in Skyview Temple. Ah, I forgot to tell you something. This is why I haven't cut yet. The only items you can use in battle are items you would have had at the time. Yep, that's it. Also, pouch items are prohibited. I know that sounds really hard, but you fought these guys once before, so I've got to keep it interesting. Hmm, maybe I am be being a, lit a bit too rough on you here. I'll tell you what. L I'll let you take the shield you currently have equipped. You all set? You got the shield on and everything? If you're ready, we're going to do this for real. Are we ready? Yes, we are. And as it fades to black... So the kill cams will commence. And two minutes, 41 seconds. I took a lot of damage, but I pulled it off in the end. Well done. Spectacular skills on display once again. Here's how long it took you to finish off the imprisoned. 2 minutes and 41 seconds. Hey, you know what? That was your first time reliving that battle. Let's celebrate with a little prize for your efforts. I forgot my voice for him. Here's 20 rupees. Go on then, take it. Okay, Vegeta works, I guess. Quit now and you'll get yourself a not-too-shabby piece of heart. But the next win will, will net you a fabulous 300 rupees. What will it be? Do you wish to continue? No. I'm quitting now, and I'm getting my piece of heart. The last piece of heart in the game. That'll give us 20 heart containers. And it feels good. Come back for a battle anytime. You know where to find me. So, let us commence with the actual battles that I will be showing. Now, because this isn't that hard... I'm actually not going to use the Guardian Potion now. I'm going to save that for the end of the LP. I want you guys to see me have a challenge. So, with just our Stamina Potion in hand... Also, I like that you can walk with potions. It's kind of cool. You could do that in the others. But anyway, with the Potion in hand, let's go ahead and drink it and start the battles. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but every t for the first time you revisit a battle, you get 50 rupees. If you break your record, that gives you not that also gives you 50 rupees. So that's pretty neat. Um, we're going to start with the middle, and we are. I am going to start. I keep saying we uh, with the imprisoned, the second battle of the imprisoned, simply because I have the hardest time with that with that battle, and I want to start off with a bang with our nice potion let's get psyched up and let's start start as the person little person says in um mario party 5 ow that's a bad start uh we have unlimited stamina so why am i doing this okay i'll just run in front and we have unlimited spin tax ow but we can still take damage. Okay. Kill that. Kill that. Run on ahead. Oh, he's going to do this. Snap, I didn't get to him in time. So I will just have Groose shoot him, and I will take him out from above. Actually, it would be easier if I... Actually, you know what? I think I can take him out without having to shoot him. Okay. Uh, I can take him out like this, and there we go. Took him out, there are his toes, and his next phase, I will get up above him and shoot. He will fall backwards, so I'll get over here. He falls backwards, 
and I am right next to him. Perfect. That works out very well. Hey, you're dead. Okay. Now he's going to stand up again. I'm going to go up to the next level and shoot him with Groose. This is I don't think I did this in the the first time we actually battled him, but if you shoot him um, with with Groose's bomb, and then uh, once he's stunned, you can actually jump on top of him. So that works out really well. So I'll catch up to him as close as I can, and then have Groose shoot him. Hopefully Groose won't hit me in the process, so I'll space myself away from the ledge. There it is. Long range, like a sniper. Except I have bombs. So it's not really like a sniper. And Groose says the same exact thing that he said the first time. Okay. Now that we've stunned him, let's jump down from above. And take out his spike again. Now for this, I'm going to take the middle. Uh, whoa. <laughs> that was funny. That was kind of awkward, too. He shoved his toes up in our grill. Okay. Let's go ahead and go over here and dive down. Right here. I'll land above. Our, that, that works, too. Okay. I took damage there, but the Wiimote was acting up. Okay. Groose is ready. Let's try to keep up with him. With uh, the Imprisoned. He is done. Let's get Groose out. And shoot him and take him down. I think I just set a new record, too, which I'm proud of that. Now, once again, just like last time, you guys can try to beat my my score or my, my time. And I actually won't give you anything because there are going to be so many people that have beaten my time. You know, pros and stuff. Okay. Jump down from above. Land on top of him. And he... Not shield bash. And he's, got, he's gone. Two minutes and six seconds. That's actually very decent. What I'm really proud of, though, is the time that I took to defeat the first Gurahim battle uh, when I off-screened it. That's the best time I've ever gotten. Ever. You'll, you'll see it once we get to it, but I'm really proud of that. And that one... Uh, I may give someone a prize if they beat it. Um, if, you, if you guys could make a video of it, just with like a camera or something, of you beating my score once that comes up... Um, I may, I may ha give out a prize by the end of the LP. I think so. Well done. Spectacular skills on display once again. Here's how long it took you off to, took you to finish the off the imprisoned. Two minutes, six seconds. And I beat my record, so I will get 50 rupees. Now, if we quit now, we will get 20 rupees. That's lame. But the next win will give us a small treasure. Let us continue. And next battle will be number two. So we have six battles remaining after this. As you can see, this is definitely going to be a long episode. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay, there's the end of his first phase. You guys can see I have a um, record of 18.06 seconds. If you guys can beat that, I probably, I might give you a reward. Okay, he, I got this down to a science. Dodge this, and next he will do... this and we just need to hit him once more and this is it done 18.63 that is amazing consider uh compared to our first time of fighting gurham where it probably took us about two minutes five maybe five 18 seconds 18 seconds that's amazing it's not a record but it's it's a good score but if you guys can beat my actual record, that'd be I'd be very happy. Okay. Um, yes, I want to continue. The next win will net us 100 rupees. And in case I didn't make it clear the first time I explained this, he does get to pick consecutive battles. We only get to pick the first one. And this is Tentalus. Nope. Okay, the, fir the first imprisoned battle. This is very easy. Okay, let's take that out, hit that, and run around here in a circular formation, and take him out. He literally got one step before we knocked him to the ground. He's such a pushover. Big guy. Okay, let's take him out. Okay, I'm going to stab you. Oh, you've been stabbed. Oh, 
poor Fido. All right, uh, let us go up here to the sky and let us land on top of him. Let's turn around here and align ourselves. I have not done this. I did not do do this earlier in the LP, though I wanted to. Or not, I didn't want to. I just didn't think of it. Okay, uh, are we close enough? Fly over here. And our sailcloth saved us. And done. There's the second one. And let us take the air spout in the sky again. Fly up. And we might be able to land on top of him again. I have no idea. Okay, let's try to keep up. We're not going to be able to land on top of him. No way. Let me abort this. Okay. Let's just try to keep up, and we can take out his toes. And they're actually invincible um, until this cutscene plays, which is actually okay game design, because you could plant bombs around his feet and take him out really easily. So, good game design. And let's take out his back toes. And shield bash. I'm very proud of myself for that. Take out that foot. And just get a spin tack here. And take him out. We're going to get a, a time of around minute 30. That's very good. Okay. Uh, turn around. And run over here. Did not grab the heart. There we go. 126. Very good time. That would have gone a lot faster had he not had to do the belly slide. Because, you know, that takes up a lot of time. And he's, I believe he's invincible during that. If he's not, post it in the comments. I would love to know. There are actually certain kind of, um, not sequence break. Well, there are a couple sequence breaks. But there are a couple kind of cheats or shortcuts to these boss fights. That once you know them, they're, the boss fights become easy. Um... There is one coming up that I will talk about that. We're, we haven't done it yet. Okay, 126. That's the third battle. If we were to quit now, we would get 100 rupees, but we're not. We're continuing on. 100 rupees, but the next one will give us 200. Um, the next battle is battle number four. And normally, that would get, uh, the first time we do that, that did, gave us a piece of heart. But because we can't just unlimitedly farm for pieces of heart that'd be kind of cool um it replaces that with 200 rupees so yeah and next battle will be number four and we have six battles left total though we're not going to be doing all of them today okay uh scaldera he's going to stop right here there we go and let's run towards him he's going to suck up the bomb Take out a sword, and hopefully... And there we go. That was good. That was a very... Those were good ki good hits. He's already moved on to the second phase, which is what I wanted. And I'll be able to take him out the next time he's vulnerable. Hey, buddy. And... I do not want to uh, charge up a Scarred Strike. There it is. I beat my record. I only need to hit him twice. Well, have him vulnerable twice. And that's 37 seconds. I am playing very well. Um, I have, I didn't really want to mention this because I didn't want it to seem kind of vain, I guess. But this is my <laughs> fourth take of this episode. Fourth take. Yeah. Uh, the first time, it was... I... I decided I didn't want the first take because I was concentrating and because of that I wasn't really talking very well I was just I was cutting off my sentences every couple of words and I did not like that I didn't think you guys would like it either so I decided I'd try again um, and the next one will give us 300 rupees and so the second take actually went fantastic I got one of the best scores I ever got on the Gurahim fight, and that was 18.6 seconds. But the problem is, is I made a mistake, and I accidentally said I'd quit at the fifth battle. And that was not good, because 
uh, because I would have to redo it, and because the battles are ra random, get off me. Uh, because the battles are random, I it would have been a terrible time cutting stuff together. So I decided to redo it. My third take. This is a very long story. My third take, I just didn't like because I it was neither commentating well, or not commentating, um, talk talking you guys well, and also I was not playing well. So. It was not enjoyable to watch. So, this episode's going actually much better. Open, open up. There we go. Synchronize the Wiimote. There we go. There we go, and let's take it out. There we go. And we'll get one free hit in on the eye and before he will go underground. And now we will bring him up to the surface with the dust bello gust bellows and just keep moving forward. And he'll move down again. That's unfortunate. Are you coming up, buddy? Please come up. Oh, you're retreating. Hey, buddy. Uh, you did not. There we go. Yeah, that I didn't do very well. But really, that is kind of a hard battle. It is kind of hard. It's it's more difficult than I rem remember. And this is actually the third time we've done it in the LP. Actually, fourth, but third time on screen. Okay. That is the fifth battle, I believe? We're just doing these... We're just knocking these out like clockwork. 50 rupees. F first time revisiting the battle. We quit now. We'll get 300 rupees. The next win will give us a rare treasure. That's actually kind of a lame reward, because we do... What is it? Five? Six battles? And we get one rare treasure. You'd think they'd give you ten. That should be what they do, or at least five, but they give you one. Not worth it in the slightest. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Next battle will be number six. Yeah, six battles. Uh, so we have two more left, and we're actually... We're making... Fa I'm making fantastic time. Ooh. Hey, buddy. Next phase. This is his second mini phase. Just shield. Guys, uh, one thing I need to tell you is if you shield against Gurhim in his sword-grabbing phase, it is cake. It is literal cake. It's so easy. Okay, are you gonna summon the daggers? No. What? Okay. Whatever. I don't get why you let me hit you, but... I've noticed that a little bit. He will let you hit him. I almost hit him again, okay. That was actually very good. That was a very good exchange. Okay, actually, we do not want to block these because it actually creates more lag for him and makes it so the battle will take longer. Ah, I almost was cool there. And backflip. Almost death. Okay, he's going to summon those again. I'm not going to get my best time. But you guys can already see my previous time. There it is. And that is it. 109. That is not bad. I have certainly had worse. And I did not lose one heart. Which I'm proud of. We had, He and I had some good flurry, uh, flurries of blows there. That was really nice. Okay. No, I'm, I'm proud of that. I'm really proud of that. I did not do have a great time. Well, it was actually okay, but I was evasive, man. I was evasive. Okay, this next win I can get behind. That's 500 rupees. That's pretty good. Though it's not as good as if we can continue to continue. Now, okay, real quick. Now, wait till the end. Okay. I shouldn't explain that now. Because this is the Tenilus fight. I called that. That's so sweet. Okay. Uh, charge up Scarred Strikes. Uh, I'm going to take that. We should have taken that out. Gone. Okay, if you can get these tentacles close together so you can take out multiples with one spin attack, that is gold. That is what you want. Oh, he. we have to hit him five times? Really? Okay. And our stamina gauge is still... Go our stamina potion is still working for us. Where... He's going to appear at the front. Okay. That was weird. He took a little bit longer than he should have. Okay, let's move up. Shoot him in the eye. 
Okay, and... There it is. Vertical spin attacks are the best against him because hit, when you hit him, his eye moves up from the recoil. So um, it's actually better to do vertical because it will continue to hit his eye. Okay, let's go ahead and charge Skyward Strikes. I should have done that in first place. Took out two for the price of one. Grandma. Have I used that joke before? I don't even know what it means. I probably shouldn't say things that I don't know what they mean. Okay, the left. Left. The right, okay. That's been really interesting. In my playthroughs, he's never appeared on the right. Ah. But he is here. There we go. No! Okay, I moved forward a little bit too much. But th that's, all, that's all good. We lost two hearts or something. That worked out okay. That was kind of funny. Oh, there goes our stamina potion. Well, that's fine. We don't need it really anymore. There are no battles that are going to be using up s stamina, so... I don't, wait, what battles are even left? Oh, I forgot what battles are left. Oh, man, we took out three at once! That was so cool. Spin attack! That was so cool, we took out three. He's going to appear in the middle. Let's move in. And eyes open. Oh, come on. I'm messing up my buttons. Come on. No. Oh, man. Wow. We're, this is the worst I've ever done on the Tenalis fight. Ever done. That's really bad. Oh, come on. I totally hit you. Oh, come on. This is just... Not happening. Okay, come on. Can I please hit you, sir? There we go. No. Come on. There we go. Finally. That was, what, seven shots? That was ridiculous. Take him out for his last phase. Sheesh. That's the worst I've ever messed up on the Tentalus fight. Really, it is. I've never done that badly. Well, at least we didn't lose that many hearts, and I still have 11 left. Okay, climb up here, avoiding the barrels. It's suddenly Donkey Kong Country. And here he is. Now we can shoot him right off on the first phase of the second half, because while he does send his tentacles after you, he keeps his eye open. So... Just take out one pot shot right now. Done. Okay. I'm actually going to do this. Okay. Because I think that actually does... We're not hitting him. It does more damage, I think. And we cut off one of his tentacles. And we got arrows for it. Neat. Okay. He's going to hit us again. And we're going to swing for the fences. Just swing wildly. And... Our remote's being desynced as I speak. Okay. There we go. Oh. There we go. Point blank. And... And death. There it is. Whew. I, I was kind of concentrating there, so I'm sorry if I stayed silent a little bit. But, hey, we, we defeated him. Without taking too much more damage, I think we're down to 10 hearts, which slightly worries me because I've forgotten what battles are left. Okay. Yep, I'm proud. Not really. I'm not proud of that score, of that time. Okay. Uh, 500 rupees, but the next win will give us... Oh, okay, this is the last battle. The next win will give us an absurdly sturdy shield. What'll it be? Do you want to continue? You bet I do. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The next battle will be number eight. To defeat all the all of, all of the enemies, you must win this many more battles. Two. So let's get on with it. Okay. Woohoo. I have no idea what is next. Please don't be anything hard. Okay, Collecto. So I can... I, I'm down with this. Uh, whip. We're going to need the whip. And... 
and we're going to do that. Took a little bit damage to the shield, but it's a regenerating shield, so it's almost back. It'll bounce back quickly, okay? There we go. Oh, it circles around. I didn't know that. Okay. Please actually hit me. Thank you. Are you going to do it again? Please do it again. I'm behind you. Uh, I'm not really. Okay, hit me. There we go. Good, do good dog. <laughs> okay, now he's going to hit me with all four hands. And I will take advantage of that to hit his heart or his core. And look at his his smile's gonna get bigger, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Snap. So creepy. Ooh! He's kind of creepy. Okay, you gonna hit me? He's a little bit quicker. Just like I've said a long time ago. Gonna hit me again? Huh? Huh? Come on, hit me, bu hit me buddy. Good boy. You almost got me there, but you actually didn't. So it doesn't matter. Only matters with or shoes and hand grenades. Hit me. Oh, that was so close. Okay. Is he going to pull himself out of the his base yet? I'm not exactly sure how this fa how this battle works now that we have the true master sword. Yeah, he's going to pull himself out. Okay. So we do a little bit more damage and it actually does count. Because some battles, I believe like the Tenelis battle, uh, those don't count for da damage. They only count for how many times you get him vulnerable, not how many times you hit him. So it actually doesn't matter. Oh, he almost hit me there. He had me backed up against a pillar. And it needs to show this cutscene for no reason. I already get it. Okay. Swing for the fences. And swing. And I'm going to drop this. And do damage with the Master Sword. There we go. That is good. Now, like I said before, j but just as a reminder, you cannot kill him with your your own sword. You have to kill him with one of his, which is really kind of weird. But you have to kill him with one of his, so you should damage him with your sword because it's faster, and damage him and kill him with his swords. You guys get away from me, and let your master kill you. Death. That's why you should serve me. Okay, I'd be a much better master than them. Can I hit him before he starts swinging? Yes, I can. There we go. Two spin tacks, and that is a good. Those are good hits. Okay, now he. I believe this is the last phase. He's going to be stronger than ever. Let's see. Is it his last phase? Yes, this is his last phase. Judging by the smile. If you guys didn't notice that smile, you rewind the video. You can kind of tell the it's kind of an indicator of what phase he's in by looking at the stupid evil grin on his face. Okay, he's gonna do that. You guys get away from me. And let your master kill you. I don't want to deal with you right now. And back up. Oh, they're still alive, but that's fine. Let me swat him out of the way. And move in. Yes! And drop it. Oh, I should I, I should not have done that. That was so dumb. I could have killed him. Man, I could have killed him. Okay, next blow. I'm not dropping the sword. Where'd that other Bokblin go? I didn't see him die. I must have accidentally hit him with the big sword. Okay, you, got, you going to unleash your Powie guys? Your little guys? Please hit me. Don't unleash your little guys. Hit me instead. Now you're going to do your guys. Okay. I swatted them aside. Please hit me. Hit me. There we go. Really fast. Okay, let me grab the sword. And hit him. And done. And done. And done. Oh, done. And done. Okay. Whoa. He's still alive? Dude, I've... I've damaged you like four to five times in this second phase. Man, he's stronger than I remember. I'm wonder. I'm, I just started to... No, that that's not right. I, I was going to say, I just started to wonder if maybe you can't damage him with your sword at all. If maybe you need to damage him with his swords, but... 
That doesn't make sense. I I got through his first phase with my sword alone, so... Huh. I don't know. Gonna hit me? Maybe he just has a lot more HP than I remember. Backflip. And take him out. And grab the sword. Is this going to be it? Swing for the fences. Swing. Swing. Death. There we go. I didn't... I wasn't terrible in, in that battle. I think 4 minute... 419 is actually a good time. I think it's actually decent. It's just that's a very long battle. Huh. This was done very well. I'm I'm pretty proud of this run. Well done. Spectacular skills on display once again. Here's how long it took you to finish off Kaluktos. 419. You know what? That was your first time reliving that battle. Let's celebrate with an, a little prize for your efforts. My voice is constantly changing for him. Wait, just a second. Hey, hey. Okay. Quit now and you'll get yourself a not too shabby, absurd, absurdly sturdy shield. But the next win will, li will net you a fabulous 2,000 rupees. What'll it be? Do you want to, co to continue? Uh, no. I almost said yes. That would have been so bad. Right. No need to knock yourself out fighting these enemies here, right? Might as well save yourself for the real battles, I suppose. I think he was having fun. You got the Hylian Shield. This legendary shield is imbued with a heroic power, making it completely indestructible. We have a new shield, ladies and gentlemen. Or, sorry, guys and gals. Wow. And with the magical power of editing, though our pouch is full, with this magical power, the Triforce of video editing... I will magically have the shield on once I'm finished talking with him. Come back for a battle anytime. You know where to find me. Here it is. The Hylian Shield. You'll also notice that my rupee count is one higher, because uh, 20 higher, because I battled Gurhim again just so I could exit out of it and get the special camera angle. So, we have the Hylian Shield. It is absurdly sturdy. In fact, it is invincible. It cannot be damaged at all. That that health meter, you see that's kind of flashy and surgy with powery? Well, that's because it is. It's surging with power. It ha it has like unlimited power, bro. And also, if you listen closely, it makes a different sound effect when you do the shield bash. Which leads me, and also it kind of has a little bit of a, like a, a flash, like a air resistance thing around it. So I'm wondering if it actually does something special. I've never actually s noticed if it does anything special besides that, but yeah, we have 100% completion except for one thing. We have one more side quest to do. But that's going to wait, because... We are actually going to uh, end it here, but next episode, we are not doing that side quest, although it is available to us. Instead, we are going to do the trial that's in Skyloft, and we'll see what it in involves. Now, in case you're wondering if I'm ever going to be doing the Silent Realm challenge of the lightning round, I'm going to say right now that I am, but that's going to be... Uh, I'm going to wait to do that until the end of the LP in a bonus video. Also, we have not defeated all of the bosses of Skyward Sword. And also, <laughs> a lot of alsos, we have we did not defeat all the boss bosses available there. So, at the end of this LP, I will be going through the lightning round again in a bonus video. And in it, we will knock out all of the bosses in one fell swoop. And that's going to be the video that I show the Guardian Potion in, because that is really hard. And also, I'll be doing it with the new shield, so yeah. So, next episode, we'll knock out that that trial or challenge or whatever it is in Skyloft. Until then, this is Paladin from Pal Place, signing out. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it channel's actually grown a lot in the past week or so. Okay. 
See you later. <laughs> hey guys, this is Paladin here. You're probably wondering why in this episode I challenged you guys with a contest and the reward of Compito. I, I'm not sure if I said that at the time, but I, that was going to be the reward. And why I backed out on it as I initiated the challenge. Well, that's because I found out how easy my time was to beat. Um, I went back today, today is the day after I first recorded this episode, with the intentions to try it to match or break the world record for the Gurham battle. Now, I did come close, I came very close. Um, I shortened my original time down to 17 seconds, then I shaved it down to 15, then 13, then 10. And eventually my best time was 9.56 seconds. That's amazing. But I took a look at the world record, and the world record is, let's see, uh, 8.06 seconds. That is more amazing. I mean, I did come close. I'm very proud of myself for that. But I didn't want to have my first contest with the reward be something that you practically have to be frame perfect to beat my actual score, my actual time. And also, because my viewer base right now is actually fairly small, and there are only a few of my viewers that have actually played or owned Skyward Sword, it wouldn't be quite fair to the others, because they would really only have to submit, there would only have to be one submission for them to win. And such, I cancelled the contest. I do have plans to do further contests in the future. But it's not going to be something that you have to be frame perfect on. It's going to be more of a, a good competition. And such, I cancelled the contest. Although, I did record my best time. Because I really wanted you guys to see it. Also, I was recording it in case I actually did beat the world record. Then you guys could see it, and then I could, you know, prove it. And so, here is my world re uh, here is my record of the first Gurahim battle. I hope you enjoy, and let me tell you, it took me a couple of hours to get this time. And, without further ado, let the Gurahim battle commence. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Once again, I thank you guys so much for watching, and thanks for staying the extra time to watch my time trial and listen to my long, drawn-out story of how I got it. Okay, that's going to be it for this video, but I'll see you guys Monday for Day 5 of Pal Plays Pikmin. I hope you guys are enjoying that LP, because I am having a blast with it. It's been really fun, and also pretty hard, by judging by Day 4. Okay, see you guys! Then...